It's a lot of crazy things I'll let Peter get away with. I even held my tongue when he went through that phase. Hey, Lois! You can get Robux quickly and very easy. You can get rich fast. Come and try it. I need to make my hair longest of all them to win this race. What's up fellow infinite money glitches? Today we're talking about the current state of mobile games. I've made a couple of videos on mobile ads and mobile games in the past, but honestly, things are not getting any better. They're getting worse, even. So I think it's about time for another update on all this. So in this video, we're just gonna take a look through some of the worst mobile games and ads I've found recently. First of all, let's start with an ad I saw for a game that is probably illegal. Mystery Paper Fold Super Speed. Now, I was playing a game, and this ad attacked me by spamming free Robux. This game can get Robux quickly and very easy. You can get rich fast. Come and try it. I mean, there's no way you're gonna tell me it's legal for this thing to exist. So this is obviously a scam. There's no way you're getting any free Robux from this thing. But I did the dumbest thing I could do. I clicked on the ad to see what this game is. And apparently it isn't even a game. It's technically considered a tool. It's not even about paper folding. It's a VPN description. Mystery Paper Fold Super Speed brings you the unlimited gaming experience. The intelligent VPN service provides a fast and smooth game experience and encrypts your internet connection so the third party cannot track your online activities to ensure your security on the internet. Uh, question, who is the third party? Not a third party, the third party. There is something they know, and I'm fearful. Now with all of this sketchy stuff going on here, I did not install this. I was not gonna be taking any chances with this thing on my phone, but many other people risked their luck and their lives really by downloading this thing. And pretty much all the real people who downloaded it said it was a scam. But clearly the reviews on this must have been botted to hell because it has scored a 4.4 star rating. Also, it somehow has 5 million downloads. Dear God. Now let's talk about Become a Queen. Maybe this game will actually bestow upon me queendom. This game is gonna make me such a queen. The royal family will bow down to me. Yeah, you curtsy before me, peasants. I got the lived life experience of the Become a Queen mobile game. What do you have, Charles? I will take the throne once I'm done this game. Now right away when you open this game, there's no menu, there's nothing. It just throws you right into the story. Also, there's no sound. It's silent, which makes things deeply awkward. Also, this thing can barely be considered a game because what it is, is a visual novel with no sound, basically. Beautiful. <laughs> just, just beautiful. Now for most of the story, you're just sitting there with two choices. Option one is a good decision, but you have to watch an ad to be able to choose it. And option two is god awful and no one should pick it, but it's free. So you don't really have freedom. Now sometimes you get the treat of other gameplay thrown in there. I mean, it's barely gameplay, but whatever. There's a few car levels where your only options are go and not go, gas or brake. You can't reverse, you can't steer, you just have to watch your little car go from point A to point B. Like why even make this gameplay? Why even turn this into a level if there's no actual freedom for you to do anything? At some point in the story, I clicked on an option that led me to a weight loss mini game where you're squatting and each squat you lose some weight. I clicked when it said lose two kilograms and apparently that's a no-no and just awful, just terrible. Two kilograms, that is literally 4.4 pounds. The recommended rate of weight loss is apparently one to two pounds a week. So I'm sorry I can't lose 4.4 per squat. I hate feeling inadequate. This shame is unbearable. The story in this is trash, dirt, garbage, obviously. You know, it's peak creativity, really. It's just more ugly fat girl gets pretty and not ugly and not fat. We have never seen this done before. 
anywhere ever. But worse than anything else in this game, worse than the story by far, is the frequency of the ads. Now I did mention that good choices were locked behind ads before, but that's not the only time they show up. They pop up at the end of each level. It's called a level, but I don't know, it's more so a single task you have to do. On this one, you click a few buttons, it lasts like 5 seconds, and then the level's done and there's more ads. Ads at the end of levels are pretty standard nowadays, right? But there's another time ads pop up as well. There's also ads that pop up in the middle of levels, just completely cutting people off. It's weird because they could choose where they put these, they could have taken the time to at least put it at a good spot, but instead you literally have ads coming up in the middle of someone speaking. Now another thing, in between each level you get coins, and for the first 15 minutes or so I had no idea what these were used for. Remember, there's no user interface, and there's no shop, so I had no idea where you could even use these things. And there was no point to use them in the story yet. So I thought they were just useless and a way to bait you into watching more ads so you can amplify the coin reward, but eventually I guess they do have a use. And that's to buy options for the makeover segment or whatever else comes next. And I didn't have enough coins come this level. You have to equip new pants, new shoes, and a new top, but I was short on coins. I couldn't skip it, and none of these items were free, so I literally had to watch an ad to get the coins to complete this level. Now this is sadly the moment I decided my path to becoming a queen would end here. I could not bring myself to sit through another minute of this. I am sorry. Now let's talk about 9 month idol, the clicker tycoon game where you develop a fetus. It's supposed to be a human fetus, but honestly this thing just looks like a shoe. It's a very sad creature. You're supposed to spend your time clicking it so it can grow to 9 months old, but honestly you shouldn't even waste your time because I mean, look at this thing. Do you think it wants to be born? Can you look at this and genuinely tell me it wants to exist? I think not. So this game starts by trying to ease you into tolerating it. There's not too many ads at the start and then the growth is pretty quick, but then not too long into it you hit a pretty steep wall where it takes you forever to just grow your baby by a couple hours. The option to grow it starts costing significantly more and taking substantially longer to recharge, with each growth phase only bringing you a few hours into the future. I'm convinced that it might actually take you 9 months to get it to 9 months. Every so often a weird trivia question pops up and it's very annoying, and when you get it wrong, it, it closes out without telling you anything. It doesn't even highlight what the right answer is, it just says you're wrong. I saw a couple reviews saying this game was educational because of this feature, but you can't really consider it educational when it doesn't actually tell you what answer is right. Now the in-app purchases for this game are crazy. Whenever I open the app, a screen comes up telling me to subscribe to it for $12 a week. $12 for crappy perks in a digital fetus game. You want me to spend $12 a week on a digital fetus. Now, even if you were completely delusional, right? Even if you thought this game was God's magnum opus and you wanted to spend your money on it, even you would look at this and think it's a really bad deal. There's also a $40 package in the store which is just beyond shameful. Like no one should be spending that much money on this game, let alone in one purchase. Now after playing and looking into all sorts of games, I just want to talk about a few more weird observations I have about the current state of things. So we're just going to sort of breeze through a bunch of topics here because there's a lot to say. Okay, so issue number one. Why are games that are very obviously not PG allowed on app stores with no restrictions for who can download them? Here's a game I got, right? Lots of downloads. And look at the nature of this thing. There's no way you can tell me that this is rated E for everyone. It, it's definitely iffy. Also, when I was playing this game, I had an issue with the ads. A very interesting issue that I think is just downright not safe. When I was playing it in the middle of a level, a web page would open up. The game would actually open up my browser to this. So like, I don't know what this is, but I couldn't find any results on Google for the website. Obviously it's not well known. I, I doubt it's safe, but basically this advertiser is clearly not secure, and somehow the ad worked in a way where it was able to literally open up 
the internet on its own without me touching it. Clearly that's not okay. Issue number two, what happened to decent naming? Don't get me wrong, mobile games have always pretty much had simplistic names. Angry Birds, where the birds are angry. Candy Crush, where the candy gets crushed. Cut the rope, where you cut the rope. The names have never been super complicated, but there's just been this consistent decline lately into irredeemable territory. Here's some from the current top charts. Block Blast, Block Puzzle Game, Triple Tile Match Puzzle Game, Attack Hole, Black Hole Games, and I gotta say, just drop the word game from the title. We get it's a game, right? Like just, <laughs> please. Stop. And then there's uh, the game Going Balls. Going Balls. I'll tell you, it's, it's a title, but I wouldn't expect it to be on the Google Play Store. Issue number three. Why are so many of the ads about feet? This girl has smelly feet. Smelly, yucky, cheddar cheese, maggot, fly swarming, icky feet. Ancient viruses slumber beneath her toenails. Now look. I know exactly who these ads are for, okay? I know why they are here, but I'm still asking why. You don't need to spread these ads around like feet are the gospel. You don't need to go knocking on people's doors, handing out feet flyers, like just trying to really get your ad out there. Like, like put the dogs away. The people who make these have you no shame, no shame at all. Now that's pretty much all I have to comment on for now with the state of mobile games. You know, I hope things get better. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know if they will. It's sad that this model of game is actually profitable because it's pushing people to make quick cash grabs instead of interesting creative projects because they won't do as well. You know, there's a lot of potential for this medium. There's a lot of potential for mobile gaming and there are tons of great games out there. There are, there's tons of great games that are designed well, they have interesting features, they offer something unique, but it sucks that they're sort of being drowned out by the sheer amount of games like these and the numbers that these games are pulling. So that's just that. What are your thoughts on the current state of mobile gaming? If you like this video, feel free to stick around on the channel. I also have social media, a second channel and merch. Thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day.